Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Optional. Today we're going to be doing Anthem on Try Hack Me. This is a great little Windows box uh, designed and created by Chevalier. Um, so let's just get started. Um, I'm not going to deploy the room. I've already deployed it on a separate account, but just so I didn't have to reset my progress, I thought I'd create a separate one. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly check our Nmap scan, which I have already ran. Uh, for those that are interested, we would do TAC SCSV, so standard scripts and system versions. Uh, TAC P TAC as well, uh, just to do the entirety of the port range, um, our IP address, and then output normal scans and map. Um, because it does take a little while to run, we have already um, ran it. So we get pretty much all we get our uh, need from here. Um, so let's answer some questions. What is the. Ooh, what was that? Uh, so what is the web server running on? We get port 80 for that one. Um, and what port is the remote desktop service? So by default on Windows is 3389, which is RPC. Um, so let's jump on in to the website and see if there's anything interesting going on here. Um, I don't remember it taking this long to load though. So should hopefully come up. Hoping we're still connected to the VPN, we are. Um, why is that taking so long? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Unless we've got to connect to it on 445, which is HTTPS. No. 243, 118. That should just allow us to connect in. How bizarre. Okay, there we go. So we got it to load. It, it did take a while. Uh, what I will do is I'll cut that bit out so there's no waiting. Um, I say that, I'm probably not going to. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to set GoBuster going. GoBuster, uh, tag you, tag W, user, share, word list, uh, Buster. Uh, and I'm going to use directory, 2 free medium. Uh, then we're going to specify extension, PHP, TXT, and output into scans and map. I am going to put a thousand threads on as well just so it's done. Um, I'm going to start up, what's the possible password uh, web crawlers check for? So that's a hint uh, going towards robots.txt and we get the password up here. Beautiful. And we also get the name of the CMS we are using, which is Umbraco, I believe. And the domain, which is anthem.thm, anthem.com, anthem.com. Um, so we get all of this come up, nothing too, too interesting. Um, the way this has been moved out or moved around um, is we see stuff like flags. So what we'll do is we'll now start hunting for flags. We've got nothing really in here. Um, there should be, if I remember in the comments, let's see. So it's not on this page, but they do bury them around a little bit. So it's key to note. We're going to click on all the articles, tags. We're basically going to run around every page. Um, this is actually really useful to note. Uh, this gives us an idea as to how they structure their emails. Um, so this is asking us the name of the admin and can you find the email address of the administrator. Um, so we've got nothing in we are hiring. So let's just check the index page and we get our flag, uh, THM lol who uses meta. Uh, which is our first one just there. Uh, we are going to click into the Jane Doe profile as well, just see, and we get an error. Okay. I do not remember getting an error last time I went on here. Uh, da, 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 that's interesting. Uh, let's see. So we've got who uses Meta, and then we get this one. Um, a cheers to our IT department. During our hard times, our beloved admin managed to save the business by redesigning the entire website. Um, as we all know here know how much I love writing poems, I've decided to write one. Born on Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday, took ill on Thursday, grew worse on Friday, died on Saturday, buried on Sunday. So for those of you that don't know, that is a reference to Solomon Grundy. Uh, so that is Solomon Grundy. Probably spelt that wrong. Um, which is a nursery rhyme, uh, hence what they've got there. Uh, so we can actually put the name here. And we saw how they do their um, email structure here, right? So that would be sg at anthem.com. So if we try that, sg at anthem, perfect. Okay. 
Um, so that gives us everything we need. We can actually RDP into the box now. Uh, we will go around and find the rest of the flags. Um, there was another one on this page, which was another meta. Uh, which was flag four, apparently. Yeah, flag four. Okay. Um, where were the rest of the hidden flags to categories? That's going to be the question. I can never remember where they buried the last few flags on here. Um, I know there was one on an account somewhere, maybe. Um, so I thought Jane Doe had one. It does. Uh, so this errored out for us earlier, but for some reason it seems to be working again now. Nope, still runtime error. Um, just a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit confused as to why uh, that's erroring. But what we're going to do is we will RDP into the box. For this, we're going to use X3 RDP. Uh, we actually get a load of errors on our um, Go Buster there, which is a little bit interesting. I'm not too sure why. Let's see if we can get Jane Doe up, because there was a flag on Jane Doe. Could have swore. Oh well. Let's say X3 RDP. So X3 RDP. Um, tack H, just to give us an idea as to what we're using. So it'd be X3 RDP. Um, tack U, SG. Is that slash U? Uh, SG uh, slash P uh, and that was the Umbarco is the best one which would be robots.txt just here and that needs to be encapsulated then it would be slash V which will be the IP address which is 10, 10 that should connect it asks to certify the certificate and it errors okay why Certificate name mismatch. Why is that doing this? UV the connection should just allow us in with that. Unless it's not liking the comments on this, no. Oh, that should be SG, that's why. So let's change that to SG hope it works. No, nope, login failure. Let's get rid of the... There's also a C in the password. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. That lets us in. Nothing like a few errors to mess us up on the, along the way. Um, but you know what? That's fine, that's fine. And we get our user.txt. So just grab that real quick. And we get newt newt. Which is... There we go. Can we spot the administer password and then get root.txt? So root on this one's a little bit interesting. Uh, command.exe. Not sure what that is. Um, so the hint when you click on hint here is, is it, it's hidden. Um, so what we're going to do is go on to view. If I remember how to do this, we do hidden items. Just so it allow us to see. And we're just going to go into my PC. Um, this is actually quite a little uh, an interesting... Um, I know when I initially did this, I uh, overlooked it quite massively. You've got a hidden backups directory in the C drive, which has restore. Um, so if we try and open this, it's going to come up with, uh, we don't have permission to read this. So let's do a right click and properties on this. Um, because in theory, we should be able to. If we go on to security, uh, no users have permission to access this object. However, the owner can uh, do this. If we click on edit and do allow or add even, no, where is this? This caught me last time I did it, advanced. control click apply save that goes there and there we go so that gives us our app and password which we can pop in here uh, and submit so now if we close out of this one uh, we can actually close our RDP window here and go up to here change the name to administrator change the password to uh, change me baby one more time and that will give us our administrator prompt. 
Uh, so we do now want to go back, or we will when RDP comes back up, um, to find our way to the other flags, right? Uh, I still think Jane should have an account that works. Um, I need to check back on the blog to double check that. Well, not the blog, the um, VOD. That's what I meant to say. So we'll check back on the VOD, see if we can find anything there. Um, let's see. And you are 1337, which gives us our final flag. Just make sure I copy that correctly. Copy. And paste. So that's all of the user flags. And it's just a case of spotting the flags now. Um, so if we have a look back on the main page, um, page source, if we do search for THM, there we go. So we get git good. Uh, easy one to overlook as we saw there. I'm assuming that is going to be this one. Then we have the final flag free. So this one is the one I'm pretty certain should be on the Jane Doe website. Um, but for some reason this isn't working. Luckily we are in the admin account, so we could probably find where the website's hosted and just pull it from there. Um, we could also check around, because I remember this being in the author's website. Um, I would love for this to work. I don't really want to have to uh, reset the box if I can help it. I uh, just get it's a little bit tedious. Uh, server managers in the way. Where would this be? Users. Let's see. Maybe not. Oh, let's search for it. Uh, this is probably using XAMP, right? Okay, we're not going to bother with this. Uh, what I'll do, I will pause the video and I will reset the box. When I come back, we will hopefully hopefully be able to um, get hold of the final flag. So bear with me one second guys and I'll be back. Okay and we are back. So I've reset the box. Um, we're going to see if it works this time. Uh, so if we're going to read this article like we did before. Um, come on, you can do it web server, you can do it. There we go. Uh, and then if we click on the profile, this time it loads and we get our THM flag free. That is everything. That is the box done. Perfect. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It's quite a short one. Um, was quite a straightforward room, as it were. Um, but again, very good box. The Privesk on it was actually quite nice. Um, I say that because I'm pretty hopeless with uh, Windows Privesks it is. So seeing a nice easy one like that from Farmer's configuration was incredible. Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, feel free to give it a like and uh, comment. Um... Yeah, let's feed that YouTube algorithm. Let's get it going. Um, join the Discord. The link is below. We're trying to build up a bit of an active community there. And I will hopefully catch you in the next video, guys. Catch you later. <laughs>